Oh, Ben, maybe you should start reading the scripts. These are street style BMXers, and they're here to see a brand new world record attempt by professional stunt rider Remy Denoye. Today, Remy is going for most single foot nose manual spins on a BMX in 30 seconds, which sounds complicated in English, let alone in French. Ben, get changed, find Remy, and he'll explain. Nose wheelies are very new in BMX. Nose wheelies? Uh, nose wheelies are pretty new, yeah. I uh, learned this trick and uh, started to do many, many spins. Everybody told me it was uh, very impressive and uh, very good tricks, so I think to, to make a new record with this one. Let's check out the rules. Only the front wheel of the bike can touch the ground. If Remy or the back wheel touch it, the attempt is over. Remy can move the front wheel with one foot only, and for a spin to be valid, the bike must turn a full 360 degrees. To set a new world record, Remy needs 15 nose spins. OK, well, here we are. It's time for the talking to stop and the BM Extreme record attempts to begin. And it is extreme. Remy is a professional rider. Don't try this yourself. The time starts when Remy lifts his back wheel. He's off. That's one full spin, 14 to go. This is hard, balancing on one wheel and spinning the bike around. Come on, oh, OK. Disaster, and a slow clap from me. He only did four spins. But Remy's not giving up on the dream. OK, so Remy's had one go, second attempt. 15 no spins. You can do it, Remy. Come on, Remy. Oh, only three! He's going backwards! Come on, Remy! I've come all the way to France for this! This time, I see the crowd are getting behind him. Come on! Will it be third time lucky? You can do it, Remy! Such concentration. This is more like it. He looks on record pace this time, if he can keep balanced. Come on, Remy! 10 seconds left and 12 spins completed. Can he fight the dizziness and claim the record? Come on, come on, come on! Stop, stop! Yes! He yeah. kept going for the full 30 seconds. But did he manage a record-breaking 15 spins? Anna, come join us. You're watching, how did he do? After two really disastrous attempts, has Remy done it third time? In 30 seconds, you achieved 18. Oh, wow, fantastic. Yeah. Whee! Remy has smashed it. Three more than he needed, and everyone's delighted. Oh, I think we've got a lot of happy French people here. So Bradley Wiggins would be proud if he was French. Well done, Remy! That's a BM excellent new world record. Officially, officially, officially. So this is how it works. The course is 15 metres long from starting point to target. The competitors must swim underwater until they are four metres from the target and shoot. Then they retrieve their arrow, swim back to the beginning, catch their breath and go again, firing three arrows each in total. These guys are trained professionals. Don't even think about playing darts in your local swimming pool. Is it all about speed? Is it about holding your breath yes. or accuracy? Is it all in there? All in that. You have to go fast and to be precise and to return uh, more fast uh, as possible. Yeah. And uh, after, we have to breath quickly <laughs> and we go again. Uh, oh, so you go up times. to the surface yes. very quickly yes. and then you back down yes. again. Yes. Well, it sounds fantastic, guys. So, bonne chance. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> Merci. That was me speaking French. Talented! Let's take a look at Les Regles. That's French for the rules. The archers must hit one of the five targets with each of their three arrows. And each time the target is missed, the archer has 10 seconds added to their time. Time penalties would be a disaster, as Johan's current record is a spectacularly speedy one minute and four seconds. That's going to be tough to beat. Patrick, Johan, are you ready? Trois, deux, un, zero! And they're off! Stopping at the four metre mark, aim and fire! Great shot, Johan! But Patrick has missed the target. That's a 10 second penalty for him. 
Now they have to retrieve their spears and swim back to the start as fast as they can. OK, so one shot's been fired already. Quick air and then back under again. Patrick is still trying to reload as Johan fires his second shot. Oh, just in the target zone. As Johan swims to collect, Patrick's loaded and ready. But can he make up the time? Takes the shot, hits the target. Johan's coming up for his last breath of air for his final arrow. Here comes Patrick, he's caught up. It's not over yet. Who can reload the quickest? Johan takes off. Final spear now, takes aim. And almost a bullseye. Three out of three. Johan collects. Patrick's just behind him, ready to shoot his final shot. He's got to make this count. No, just outside the target. That's another 10 second penalty and Johan's already finished. Those two misses add 20 seconds onto Patrick's time. But immaculate shooting from Johan means no penalties. Did he break his own one minute, four second world record? Firstly, Patrick, unfortunately, because of your 20 second penalty, you achieved of one minute and 21 seconds. Okay. Oh, if only he'd be more accurate with his shooting, he could have broken the world record. But this is looking good for Johan and his triple perfect targets. Johan, you achieved 54 seconds. So congratulations, it's a new record. <laughs> Woo! Brilliant stuff, well done. Some sharp shooting and officially amazing underwater archery. <laughs>